So in the following exercises here, we are given the universal set and sets A, B, C, and D. We want to use the roster method to write each of the following sets. So we have first, we have A prime or complement of A. So for the complement of A, you're just going to write all the elements in the universal set that you can't find in A. If A is up to 20, so therefore we start with number 21, 22, 23, 24, and so on. Okay, so these numbers are the complement of A. What about the complement of B? Now the universal set here, if you notice, are the set of natural numbers. So and everything in the universal set that is not in this set here. So that is 51, 52, 53, 54, and so on. What about C prime? For letter C, these are all even. 2, 4, 6, 8. The complement of C elements in the universal set, not on this set here, will be the set of odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. And similarly, for the complement of D, D is a set of odd numbers. So for the complement of D, we just have the set of all even numbers. D prime will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So again, when you say complement, the one with prime, you're, you're looking for the elements that are not on that set, but on the universal set. So, so for this exercise here, we have the universal set to, given to be this set here. This is the set A containing 1, 3, 5, 7. B is this set and C is this set. Now, we want to find each of the following sets. B union C. For B union C, you're just going to join together, combine together all elements. Notice you have 2 and 3 for both sets. You just have to write these elements once. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, B prime, intersection C. So let's get B prime first. B prime is elements on the universal set, not on B. So B prime will be set containing 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, C is the set containing 2, 3, 4, 5, and then six. So when you say intersection, this is intersection, you're looking for common members. So therefore, the intersection for B prime C is four, five, and also six. Okay, so those three arc elements are common to both sets. So therefore, the intersection is set containing four, five, and six. Now let's consider this example. So again, by considering the same set here, we want to find the union of B and C prime. So let's get C prime first. C prime is the set containing all elements in the universal set, but not on C. So everything that is in here that you can't find here. So that gives us one, two is in here, also three, four, five, six, so that gives us one and seven. We want to take the union with B. B is the set containing one, two, and three. When we get the union, you just have to combine all elements, so meaning you just have to take everything. This down elements that are repeated twice as once. So you have one, two, three, seven for the union. 
for the intersection, you have to get the common, common elements. So common to A and B, if you have here a parenthesis, then after that one, you get the complement. So here, let's get first A intersection B. Let's get the common elements common to A and B. This is your A and this is your B. Common to that one is 1 and 3. So therefore, A intersection B is 1 and 3. The next, we want to find the complement. So to find the complement of this one, A intersection B complement will be the set in the universal set, but not in here. So what are those? The numbers that are in the universal set, but not 1, 3. So we just have to take out 1 and 3. 1 and 3 will just be taken out. So it will just be 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7. We want A prime union B prime. To get that one, we have to get A prime. So that is 2, 3 is an A, 4 is not an A, and 5 is an A, 6 is not an A, but 7 is an A. So therefore, A prime is 2, 4, and 6. What about B prime? Again, go back to the universal set and then pick for the numbers that are in the universal set but not in B. We have 4, 5, 6, and 7. These numbers here are not in B. So therefore, B prime is the set containing 4, 5, 6, and 7. To get the union, you're just going to take all the elements together. So you have 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7. You have to get the union first of A and C. You get A and C. Just combine them together. So that is the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Well, this is just actually the universal set. What is the complement of that one? Compare this to the universal set. This is actually everything in here. So therefore, A union C is just empty. Empty. There's no element in the universal set that is outside of A union C. C union empty. So C and then union, meaning you combine it with an empty set. Empty contains nothing. So therefore, this is just the same as C. B union U, universal set. Well, the universal set is a bigger set. If you combine it here, then 1, 2, and 3 are also here. So it's just the universal set. So this is just the same as the universal set, which is the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. On this next set of exercise, we are going to use the Venn diagram that is given here and find these sets here from the Venn diagram and use a roster form for each set. Referring to this Venn diagram, we want to find set B. Set B is everything that is inside B. It would include this region here and this region here. So that will be 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7. Now, A union B. So everything under A and B. So A or B. This is the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now for A prime, A prime is everything outside of A. So it would be this, because this region here is outside of A. The elements that are in A prime will be 2, 5, 
6, 8, and 9. Next, we want to find A, intersection B, and then parenthesis complement. To find that, let's get first the intersection. So the intersection for A and B is this region here. This region is the intersection for A and B. So to find the complement, it's actually everything that is not shaded, everything outside of this region here. So it's going to be everything outside of that, so it will just be here, okay? So this region here outside is the complement. And the elements in there, the elements are 1, 4, 2, 5, 6, 8, 9. Take note, the order, the order does not matter. Next, what about A prime intersection B? So A prime should be outside of A. So when you say A prime, you're referring to this region here. And then intersect it with B. B is this region here. So B, that region. So what is that? The one that is shaded twice. That region will be the intersection of A prime and B. And the elements there are 2, 5, and 6. For A union B prime, this is the whole of A, and you also get everything outside of B. Outside of B are these, this region here. And when you say union, just combine it together with everything inside A. So everything inside A is this region here. Union, again, you just have to combine. So therefore, this set pertains to 1, 3, 4, 7, and then this region here, 8, 9. That is A union B prime. Here, we want to find the cardinality, A intersection B. A intersection B is actually this region. Intersection meaning common to both. We are actually referring to this region here that is A intersection B. How many elements do we see here? We only see one. Next, what about B prime? B prime outside of B. Outside of B is this region here and that region. And then just count the elements outside of that. How many elements do we see? One, two, three, and four. So that is equal to four. Next, we want to find cardinality of u minus the cardinality of b. u is the universal set. How many elements do we have in the universal set? The universal set is a set um, containing all elements under consideration. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So this one is equal to 8 minus cardinality of b. Cardinality of b. b number of elements in B is 1, 2, 3, 4, because this is the whole of B, the whole set of B. So you have 4. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4.